Hey guys, a video for a nature and environment in Japan playlist. As you can see, it's harvest time in Japan, and as always, the rice fields are full of all sorts of life. So at the moment, it's sort of dominated by crows and by dragonflies. Those of you who have been watching our videos for a while would have seen we've attempted lots of times to show you the dragonflies because we love them. There's just so many of them this time of year, big swarms of them. And we like them. I mean, they're sort of a Japanese symbol. They are a traditional symbol in Japan, very popular symbol. The dragonfly, it's a very popular thing. We like them because they, they eat mosquitoes and things like that that are pests. And they're pretty, they're pretty to watch, beautiful to watch. They fly in an amazing way, so they're sort of fascinating to watch. And don't do anything bad to us. They don't, they don't bite anybody and they don't smell and they don't do anything nasty. So we love the dragonflies. So you can't really see them, can you? There's a swarm of them over this rice field. So of course the rice fields are always full of creatures. There's there's little fish and tadpoles in the water when there's water in there. There's frogs and, and at night often the frogs go wild. We actually showed you a video of that once before. At night the rice fields are just full of frog noises. But just about every insect and crawly thing, lots of snakes. So the, the little things get attracted by the water and, and by the rice itself. And then there's bigger things that feed on them. So snakes and crows and the cranes that we showed you too with the long necks that come along and eat the little guys that are crawling around in there. So it's just a huge ecosystem. It's just a wonderful place. We love the rice fields. We spend a lot of time traveling in the rice fields and we love them. It's always changing. We, we drive through this area, through these rice fields, er, just about every day. And every day it's a little bit different. You know, in this case, they've obviously they've harvested a couple of fields here. So they were a metre high in rice and now suddenly they're bald. You can see the crows love that too because as the machines go through, they collect most of the rice. They're pretty efficient. Those of you who are interested in that sort of technology, we made a video about that once before, showed the machine that cuts off the rice and separates the grains from the chaff, is it? The bits that they don't like, the bits they don't want. And of course it's pretty efficient, but it does leave some bits and pieces behind that the crows like, and there's always something around the rice fields for them to eat. <laughs> Again, there's another swarm of dragonflies in that field. <laughs> With the naked eye, you can really see them bouncing around, but it really is hard to catch them with the camera. We've tried just about everything over the years. Some of you will know. We've tried all sorts of ways to show you the dragonflies because we think they're so amazing, but it's really, really difficult. You're sort of getting the idea. Those of you with good eyesight and a big screen might be able to see them. This field's got them. Have a look at this. You'll be able to see these guys. It's just amazing. It's just amazing how many there is. As, we, as we're driving around here, every one of these rice fields just had swarms and swarms of them buzzing over the top. But amazing scenes. Lots of you would have seen videos that we've showed you from the rice fields. We've also taken lots of photos in the rice fields that we put on Facebook. And we just find it fascinating. And it's such, such Japanese scenery and constantly changing. We've done a couple of videos showing you a year in a rice field, showing you the different the changes that take place over the year. And it's just like a different place. Constantly changing, the colours are constantly changing. As the rice grows it changes colours. The way it moves in the wind changes. It's just amazing. And because the crows love it. <laughs> crows are everywhere. So at the moment all we were seeing this day, everywhere we went this day, was crows and dragonflies, just everywhere. <laughs> crows love it. Always something for them. It's just so alive, it really is. It's an amazing, amazing place to be out in the rice fields. Those of you who haven't been to Japan, or those of you who might be coming to Japan in the future, if you haven't been out in an area like this, you, you've got to get out. We showed you, actually, if we found a company recently does rural tours, so that would be a solution for some people if you want to get out in the countryside, but just get on a train. If you're in a city somewhere in Japan, get on a train, just travel out of the city, 
get out of the city, find a little station somewhere and get off, walk around, <laughs> enjoy some of this. Dragonflies and crows. More videos coming soon.